we are still working on Bookshark, but I decided to already film the review because Monday starts kindergarten and we're doing Bookshark along with Connections Academy. So I didn't think I'd have time to film this video. So here you go. Here's the instructor's guide. Pretty awesome. They give you what you need to do each week. And then the little tips, little questions to ask. Yeah. Sometimes a little optional activity to do. So, it's pretty cool. It has a section that tells you about, the, about how the bookshark works and all stuff. It has them. Back has additional schedules. So you write your own schedule. It has field trip tips. It has the scale life to check off. See if you can not do those things yet. I highly recommend you get this strategy guide. I mean, this instructor's guide from Bookshark. Um, you can buy the whole thing in a one box curriculum or you can just get the instructor's guide and order the books as you need them. But this thing is awesome. It came with a ruler, counting tiles, counting bears, a clock, numbers, birthday, and unifix cubes. All for his math. That's your math in pre-K. And you get these Developing the Early Learner Books. There's four of them. Here are the first three that we have already finished. And we absolutely love them. I highly recommend them. I even talked my cousin Sarah into getting them. We have finished this book, Why Under the Sea. We absolutely love it. It's a great little book to help introduce Under the Sea concepts to young readers. This was my son's favorite. Absolute favorite. Anything bear, anything bear, 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 anything bear, science and nature was like the jam in this house. Starts off teaching you about the almanac, which is the season, what happens in the season, and um, holidays. So, and then it goes on to nature. You learn about nature and stuff. Then after nature, you got um, I just went in this hard. Um, you got the science fair. You learn about different science experiments and stuff. It's pretty cool. So this is a great book for beginner kids to learn, start learning nature and science. Now and then, this is a pretty cool book from Esborn. It is. It shows a street then and a street now. It shows like story then, story now. It's just pretty cool. I learned a lot, and so did my son. Of the different places, what places were like then and now. Highly recommend anything from us one from their illustrated book collection. Stories from around the world is pretty, pretty cool. We read lots of uh, classic stories from around the world. And the illustrations are great. Highly recommend this book. My son loved it. I highly recommend this book too. Read to me, I'll read to you. It's got 26 beloved classics to read and share. It comes with all these books. I highly recommend you get it because it's pretty awesome. It's got a bunch of stories in one. Think about it. Your kid wants a bedtime story and likes to read like 20 books a night. Grab this book and just start reading until you fall asleep. Pretty cool. I highly recommend these two books, A City Through Time and A Street Through Time from DK. They are pretty awesome. It shows different cities and how they were in the past and stuff. And then this one shows different streets. And this one shows the same street and just how it evolved over, over time. Pretty cool. I highly recommend this book called People. Some great stuff about how people lived, how they were, what, what houses they lived in, what languages they spoke, how they looked different than us. It's pretty cool. This art book is optional with Bookshark Pre-K, but I highly recommend you get it because you can you can learn some new words and picture look at art and get familiar with what art looks like. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend this beginners well out. My son absolutely loves this book. Still looks at it to this day. 
shows you how to read a map. And it shows you each different continent and how they look in different different views and stuff. It's pretty cool. It teaches you a lot. In this book, you will learn understanding the world, North America, South America, Europe, Australia, Asia, Ar Ar Arctic, Africa. Pretty cool book for beginners to learn about how to read atlas and stuff. Um, this pe thing people do, I absolutely love it. It was a little too much for my son. Uh, it keeps refocusing his attention. But I absolutely love it. You learn about what people do all day, like what a farmer does and stuff. It's a pretty cool book from Esborn. I highly recommend Cars and Trucks and Things That Go. Rich is Gary. I actually recommend any Rich is Gary book. This is pretty cool. It tells the story of a family trying to get from point A to point B and what happens along the way. I love it. Here are the stuff we're still working on. Still working to pick our kindergarten book. Pretty cool book. We got it when we ordered um, another copy of Hammering Without Tears from the website. It came with this book. Yeah, oh, we also have those uh, wooden letter tile things. I do not have enough for this video because I don't know where I put them, but yeah, we still got the wooden letter tile things that came from Bookshark. I spent absolutely less playing with those, but I never know where they are. This is what people do all day, and I like this one a little better than the Osborne one because it tells a story about the day and why not just learning little facts. You're reading a story about it. What people do. Uh, as, uh, Bookshark comes with a copy of Winnie the Pooh, but I decided to use our illustrated copy of Winnie the Pooh. So, we are almost done with this book. With the first book in here, and then the second one, I think you read the second one in kindergarten. At Pooh's, Winnie the Pooh for Free K and At Pooh's Corner for Kindergarten, I think. Um, so the second time doing this book, we once we got it with Bookshark, and then once we did it by our, we ordered it from the website. Pretty cool book. Lots of good tracing in it, and... And learning. Great for beginners to learn. Here's book four. We're still working on it. I highly recommend these early learner books. The Lion Story Tell a Bedtime book. I highly recommend this book. It's got great graphics and great story. And we haven't read this one yet, but I read it when I was a kid and I absolutely love it. Can't wait to read it to my son. Um, here's another S1 book we haven't just started yet, but I think it's going to do it and I absolutely love it. You learn a lot. Yeah, you learn all of this. I absolutely love it. Reading Dr. Seuss. I've never read Dr. Seuss ABC as one letter a week before. That's pretty cool. Eric Carle's Animal Animal. Pretty cool poem book. And great graphics. Anything, good, anything from Eric Carle is great. I recommend this Mother Goose book and a dictionary. Because some of the old timey words I had trouble with. But the graphics are really cool and the poems are awesome. And my son loves it. He tries to say Mother Goose. He is slightly not verbal and is at the stage where he repeats what you tell him to say, so he's trying he repeats my grace every time I say it. It's pretty cool. Um, this book I highly recommend too for anybody who has a non-verbal child or a child learning to read. First one has the words, it's pretty cool. You have the words along has the picture and the words along the along the side and you find the object in the picture. So it's pretty cool. And I highly recommend this book, the feeling book. It's also a Read your rainbow book. Um, you haven't read this book. I haven't read this book yet to my son, but I read it when I was a kid and I highly recommend it. I am actually thinking about getting the episode to this book after we read it. Hmm. Well, reading rainbow on uh, Amazon Prime. These are all the books and stuff that we use with Bookshark, minus the uh, wooden letters from Henry that I totally forgot to rhyme. But these are all the books that we did with Bookshark, or will do with Bookshark. Absolutely love Bookshark 3K. Can't wait to buy Bookshark Kindergarten. Have a great day.